Welcome to Excellent MMA. Nate Diaz goes off on Aiden Ross for his comments on Lean Edwards. Aiden Ross lost a good chunk of money after he bet on Lean Edwards to beat Bella Mohammed at the UFC 204. Aiden heavily criticized Leon for losing to Bilal and called him a disgrace. Leon Edwards, you are by far the worst champion ever. You lost in your own home country. You fucking suck. You are a disgrace to the UFC. Nate Diaz wasn't too happy with that. So here's what he said about Aiden. How about someone beat your ass for talking, you little f Dana White promises to quit gambling. Dana White shut up on Aiden Ross' latest stream, where he revealed his plans to quit gambling, only for a period of time. Dana said he made 2 million gambling over the past 2 days, and now it's take a break from gambling so that he can be more focused again. 2 days, 2 mil. I'm thinking about not playing again until September. I probably won't play again until, or until I see you again, maybe. You know, I went on vacation and I just started getting back and I'm doing the superhuman again, so I'm just trying to get in. When you, you know how it is when you play. You're out till frickin' 2 in the morning and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till September to play. I just wanna get get focused on on getting as healthy as I can again. Max Holloway reacts to Ilya Taporia fight news. Max Holloway set to fight Ilya Taporia at UFC 308 on October 26 this year. Reacting to his fight announcement, Holloway posted this video on Instagram with the caption, "Winter is coming." Sean Strickland says Israel is in the bad side. Sean Strickland has once again made his opinion clear on Israel, criticizing the United States government, Strickland tweeted. You all need to understand that Israel isn't bad. They act in the best interest of Israel. We would all do the same if we switch places. Our government is the bad guy for not acting in best interest of its people. Be mad at them, not Israel. Tom Aspinall on Mohamed Mokaev's UFC release. Reacting to Mohamed Mokaev's departure from the UFC, Tom Aspinall said it's a shame that the UFC didn't renew Mokaev's contract. Espinel added if Mokaev was released because he fought Mano Kape at the fighter hotel, and that's really unfair to him. Yeah, so Mohamed Mokaev is a lot I've known since he was 12 years old. He's like, oh he's in his early 20s now, I think he's like 23, 24. So on the weekend, he fought in the UFC, and him and his opponent had a lot of beef beforehand. They were scrapping in the hotel before, some real stuff, and I heard some stories about kicking each other's hotel rooms when they're trying to sleep, and kicking the doors down and all that shit. I don't even know what's happened, but these are just rumours. But anyway, the UFC, have just, he, you know, he went in there, he won the fight, quite a boring fight to be honest with you. Uh, the UFC kicked him out, long story short. They don't want to re-sign him because of what's going on. I, I think it's unfair, to be honest with you. I think it's so unfair. Mackay has been kicked out. Yeah, Mackay has been kicked out, yeah. They, oh, they've right, not, they're not not going to renew his contract because of the goings on in the hotel and mm. backstage and all the rest of it. I mean, this has happened before all this beef, you know, in the hotel and at the weigh-ins and all the rest of it. It's not the first time, so I think it's a bit unfair on him just to kick him out indefinitely. At the end of the day, I'm not the boss of the UFC, am I? So it's got absolutely nothing to do with me. I, I'm not running a, a multi-billion dollar business. So I think it's a shame, but it's, it's not really my call. Dana White on looking upset while putting the belt on Bilal Muhammad. Dana White has addressed the viral video of him looking disappointed while putting the belt around Bilal Muhammad at UFC 304. Dana said he wasn't upset at all because Bilal had won. He was just tired and in a bad mood at six in the morning. Everybody thinks that I don't like Bilal. I saw stuff posted that like Dana's going to commit suicide right now because because Leon, that's, that's the furthest thing from the truth. The belt wrap, to put it into perspective, right. the belt wrap for Aspinall did 8.2 million views. Bilal's belt wrap did 22 million views. Oh. 22 million. So people don't care about Bilal Muhammad. Right. This right here proves that that's not true. Bilal Muhammad is a good guy. He's a good human being. He's a good person. Whatever the reason is that fans don't connect with him, you know, and, and talk shit about him. What, what I've learned through years of being in this business, Bilal keeps grinding, doing what he does. He's on an unbelievable win streak. He hasn't lost a fight in like five years. Devin Haney gets booed by fans during Terrence Crawford fight. It seems like Devin Haney has only gotten unpopular among fans after his fight against Ryan Garcia. While entering the arena for the Terrence Crawford fight, Haney was heavily booed by fans. <laughs> Conor McGregor completely ignores girl trying to rise him. Conor McGregor recently attended a bike rally. He was obviously the center of attention, but it didn't look like McGregor was in the mood to enjoy. <laughs> 